thing about QAnon is that it kind of absorbs and uh, easily blends with any other conspiracy theory driven movement. The latest movement to glom onto Q? The Sovereign Citizens. These guys have been around for decades, spinning out from radical right wing movements in the 1970s. It's sort of a loose collection of anti-government extremists and uh, tax protesters who believe that they aren't uh, bound by uh, normal U.S. federal law. Because this is an anti-government movement, they don't uh, recognize the legitimacy of government forces in any way. Uh, this has motivated them to take some very extreme and dangerous actions. Conveniently, that anti-government view also gets the sovereign citizens out of all the pesky stuff normal people do to maintain a functioning society, like paying taxes and following regular laws. I often compare them to kind of like uh, anarchists, but they've developed their own kind of alternate legal system, which they believe allows them to ignore conventional legal uh, standards. I'm not one of your citizens. I'm not in... I'm not in your city, I'm not in your state. I can't be in it, it's impossible. And how do they justify living in the United States but not following any of the rules? So of course, the sovereign citizen belief system is the idea that the United States stopped being a country and started being a corporation in 1871. Bear with me, because this is gonna get convoluted. Sovereign citizens think language in the 14th Amendment which granted citizenship to former slaves, also changed the citizenship status of every single person in America. Where we were all previously sovereign citizens of our individual states, we're now under the total control of the federal government, undoing our individual rights. Sovereign citizens claim the United States then later became a corporation, beholden to some shady powers that be. They essentially believe that all laws and all constitutional amendments uh, after 1871 are uh, illegitimate. And consequently, all presidents after 1871 are also illegitimate. So are all of us sovereign citizens under their interpretation of history? No, actually, they believe that the rest of us have kind of given up our sovereign citizenship by getting zip codes or getting a driver's license or uh, doing other things that allow us to participate in U.S. society. Now, I mean, one of the things is the 14th Amendment, right? Pretty important if you think about the history of racism in the United States. Uh, are these guys, these sovereign citizens, just racist with a different name? Some sovereign citizens may not recognize how the ugliness of where their belief system came from, but it is certainly uh, rooted deeply in conspiratorial thinking, white nationalism, and anti-Semitism. More recently, uh, we've seen QAnon followers starting to adopt sovereign citizen-style arguments in order to claim that um, Donald Trump will be inaugurated this coming March 4th. Trump will not be sworn in as the 45th president of the United States on January 20th. Trump will take office as the 19th president of the United States on March 4th. The reason that they believe this is because this was actually the original inauguration date in the U.S. Constitution prior to the 20th Amendment. For a QAnon believer who is perhaps disappointed that on Inauguration Day, Trump didn't uh, you know, declare martial law and take over power, this is another date for them. Exactly. This is just part of a uh, long-running tradition in the QAnon community of moving the goalposts continually, believing that their day of vindication and that they, the apocalyptic date in which uh, the forces of good, in their view, finally take over the federal government, uh, win out at last. So if they are anti-government and they don't recognize the legitimacy of our current government, why do they even want a President Trump to potentially take over an office on March 4th? That seems inconsistent internally. It is inconsistent. Uh, it, they, they simply resolve this by believing that our current form of government is illegitimate. But what they want is, is a restoration of the true, actually legitimate form of government. They believe Trump is the savior of humanity, and they would happily see uh, Trump to be uh, the sovereign ruler of the United States for the rest of his life. Well, let's not mince words then. Like, we call these conspiracy theories, but is this just fascism by another name? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, these people, they crave uh, authoritarian rule. They fantasize about a military crackdown, a coup, uh, essentially, in which, uh, you know, a, a military junta rules over us well, with the sort of the consent of Trump. So, yeah, these are authoritarian fascists and the, their ultimate goals are fascists. <laughs>